This is Rob with SafeNet AT, and today we're integrating HashiCorp Vault Enterprise Plus HSM with our own Luna SA HSM appliance for government. Vault with HSM is only supported on Linux 64 bit. We'll be using CentOS 7. Assuming you followed our other guides and videos, you should already have the Luna client installed. The first thing you want to do is verify that you do have a connection to the SA using the VTL verify command. We see that we do have a partition assigned, and if we look on the appliance, we can look at the contents of that partition. As you can see, the partition is currently empty. Back on our client system, you can see that I have the Vault binary. It's just called Vault. This is the Vault Enterprise Plus HSM version. The file is distributed as a binary and can be renamed whatever you like. For purposes of testing and comparing, I did also download the Vault Premium Trial, which does not have HSM support, and I renamed that Vault Premium Trial. In order to run Vault and set up the HSM, you do need to create a configuration file. It can be named anything you like. I've named this one config.txt. The important thing to note here is the seal stanza. The PKCS11 seal will specify to use the HSM. In this file, we point to the Luna libraries. We also list the slot number, which matches the output of VTL verify above. We specify a key label, an HMAC key label, and we set generate key equal to true. This will generate the key if the key does not exist on initial startup. We also need a listener stanza. We also have a listener stanza. Ordinarily, you would use TLS if you had other clients connecting to the system remotely, but since we're only doing this on a local system, we can specify TLS disable equals true. We also need a storage stanza, which tells Vault where to store data. You'll notice that we did not specify the partition password in the config file. This can be specified on the command line to set an environmental variable for the process about to be run. So here we enter vault hsm pin equals test password 1, which is the current password for my partition. And here we'll try running vault premium trial so that we can see the error message. As you can see, the error message points out that you need the hsm binary. So now let's try this command again, specifying the partition password and using the vault enterprise plus HSM binary, which I just have named vault. Here we can see the vault has started successfully. Now in another window on the same client, we do need to export an environmental variable for vault address. This indicates where the listener is. The listener was specified in the config file, and we put that address here. Now if we try to check vault status at this point, we'll get an error message saying that it is not yet initialized. Using Vault Enterprise Plus HSM, the initialization looks a little different. We need to specify recovery shares equal to 1 and recovery threshold equal to 1. Now when we run that, we get a recovery key and an initial root token. These should be stored in a safe place.
Now we've initialized fault, but again, if we try to run a command, such as vault secrets list, we'll see this error message permission denied. Once the vault is initialized, we have one more step where we need to log in. We do that with the command vault login. This prompts the user for the token, which was the token generated when we initialized the vault. And success, we are now logged in to vault. Once we perform an initial vault login, we will not need to do that again. Now if we run vault secrets list, we can see the secrets that vault is storing. On our Luna SA appliance, we can use the partition show contents command to show the contents of the partition again. And here we see that the partition is no longer empty. It contains both of the keys generated by Vault. We can also run the Vault status command to verify that the Vault is not sealed. Now that we have the HSM configured and Vault initialized and logged in, it will use the HSM to auto unseal every time Vault is launched. We can quit Vault with Control C, and then if we attempt to get the Vault status, we see that it's not running. Another test is to launch Vault specifying a different password. And we see the error message is pin incorrect. This shows the Vault was unable to log into the HSM. So let's run Vault again with the correct password. And we see the Vault has started up. It accessed the keys on the HSM, and it is currently unsealed. Another test of Vault is to use Vault Secrets Enable Database, and this would enable a new database secrets engine. And if we do Vault Secrets List, we can see that database is now listed. We can also create a token on Vault with Vault Token Create. And that completes the integration of Vault, Enterprise, plus HSM with our own SafeNet AT, Luna SA, HSM for Government.